Okay, so hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Oscar Outdoors. Today's episode I want to talk to you about what I use when I go baby camping during summer. It's all about what I use when I go bivy camping during sort of spring and summer. Um, as it's that time of year, um, I thought why not? And I saw English Woodsman's done a video on his bivy setup, so I thought I'd jump on that bandwagon and should bring you one of mine. So, yeah, I'll leave a link to Dan the English Woodsman's. Uh, this is all like an OEX sort of bivy system. Mine, I bet you can't guess what brand it's going to be. Yep, it's going to be Snug Pack. Uh, so, yeah, I'll just sh quickly show you the items that I'm going to layout for you so first of all you've got the snug pack bivy okay next up is the snug pack jungle bag okay. the snug pack silk sleeping bag liner and then what I come to call my sleep bag <laughs> Um, so in here, I've shown you before, is my sleeping pad, uh, some spare tent pegs, a couple of guy lines, my hammock straps, and my premium snug pack pillow. So I'm going to get all this out, and I'm going to show you how I use it. Okay, so first item to unpack is the snug pack bivy. Okay, as you can see, it's tiny. It can become compressed even smaller, probably to just about the size of a size and a half of a fist. Okay, so it's in its own sort of waterproof storage bag with a mesh bottom and it tells you exactly what it is on there. Okay, so yeah, draw cord, Oops. open up the stuff sack, pull it out, job done. Keep the stuff, stuff sack to one side. Quick look at the bivy bag itself. So yeah, I've slept in this uh, when I did my expedition hike between Settle and Bradford way back when. Uh, it is 100% waterproof, kept me nice and dry. Uh, that was during February as well, so I can't remember what temperature it dropped down to. But yeah, it was pretty cold. But yeah, this is a heavy bag, made in China, um, olive colour, uh, one simple drawstring, I like that. Okay, nice big wide entry, taped seams on the inside. Okay, and as you saw before, it compresses down to next to nothing. Okay, so the next item that we're going to open up now is the Snug Pack Jungle Bag. As I said before, this is what I use during summer and spring. Um, the jungle bag has a built-in mosquito on it. I'll do a full review of that uh, later on the channel. But you saw how small that compressed it, and I've just opened it up now. And I'll look probably about the size of my um, bushcraft brew kit. That's obviously in uncompressed state. But yep, yeah, open this up. Got a habit of tying knots and everything. Yep, yeah, again simple draw cord. It says. Oh, I only did one of the knots. <laughs> so yeah, simple draw cord. Open up the stuff sack and remove the sleeping bag. Again, keep that to one side. 
keeping it nice and simple. Summer sleeping bag, two season sleeping bag, I believe this is. Uh, jungle bag, blah, 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 blah. comfort of plus seven and extremes of plus two. So, yeah. Again, two season, I reckon. But yeah, it's got the diamond Paratex finish on there as well. Uh, YKK zippers throughout and just simple draft pull cords. Um, tie out points for when you've um, washed it and you just need to dry it out. But yeah, right. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, sorry. The uh, mosquito net as well. Which covers over your head covering, obviously protecting you from unwanted beasties and whatnot in your sleeping bag with you. Right, so over there. Okay, so that's the sleeping bag and the uh, bivy bag. Now the sleeping bag liner. So this is a silk version. Snug bag do do um, quite a lot of different ones. There's a Teflon one, um, a TS one. Yeah, which stands for thermal suede uh, they do all kinds of different ones but yeah this is the the silk the silk feel and using one of these will just add an extra degree or two of warmth uh, to your sleeping bag yeah packs down again really small but you know it does exactly what it says in the tin and if you use one of these to get into your sleeping bag it makes it a lot less friction a lot less uh, moving about um, and a little velcro tab at the top just to keep it shut. But yeah, that's a sleeping bag liner. Okay. And then in the sleeping bag, I have a kindly nickname. We have the premium snug pack air pillow. And then self-inflating midi mat. Right, I'll get all this set up and I'll bring you back. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at what we've got and how we've set it up. Uh, so yeah, the bivy bag, as you can see, is the outer, which is what they're designed to do. Just pull that back a little bit. Inside there, you have the snug pack jungle bag, and then the snug pack premium air pillow. And not included in the system yet, which I've already shown you, is the silk liner. The reason for that is I'm going to get into this and then slide into there giving me a little bit less friction. Okay let's do that now. Alright so now we're going to have a go at getting inside the uh, sleeping system. So you take your uh, sleeping bag liner, take off your shoes, Find which way around it goes. Step in. Go jump. Okay, and then pull back sleeping bag. Feet in. Pull off for a minute. Take wriggle down. And we're in. Okay, so once you're in, make sure that everything's in the system that you want to be in the system. Everything you don't want to be in it. Out. Push it in, lie down, keep the comfy spot. Take your sunglasses off your head. Okay, and then pull the hood up and do the zip.
Yeah, then once that's done, pull the draw cord on the bivvy bag. Right, it's empty now. <laughs> so here's the beauty of the bug net obviously. I'm going to teach you how to suck eggs. But the bug net is obviously there to protect you from uh, unwanted visitors in the night. Yeah, simply zips to the top of the jungle bag with your arms inside. Perfect little setup. Okay, it's time for me to get out and I'll show you all this again before I disappear. Okay, that's been a quick overview of what I use when I go bivy camping during spring and summer. Uh, I'll leave a link to all the items individually in the description box below. If you like Snug Pack gear, go across to my new Facebook group, the Snug Pack Owners Group. Send yourself a little request in there, I'll accept you, and you can talk about all things Snug Pack in there. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment in the description box below, and any questions or queries, I'll leave my email address as well. Thanks very much, I'll see you in the next one.